Ice Strike here, and this time I'm going to take a look at something that I just found out about today, so please excuse it if this review seems a bit rushed, and it is of the EP by the band Newstead, and it's their first release ever, pretty much, and it's a four song EP, and the main guy behind it, Jason Newstead, is the bassist or ex-bassist of Metallica. He quit in, I, think, I believe it was either 2000 or 2001. I know it was before the Napster incident. He pretty much jumped off the sinking ship at that point before they regained their feet. But uh, to move on, this is more of a bluesy-oriented metal album. Bluesy, heavy metal, metal-oriented, versus as opposed to the thrash metal that Metallica has been you know, known for but has since departed from in more than recent years. So, to start off, as I said, this is a four-song EP, and the production, I gotta say, I mean, at first, when I first heard it, I really did not like it, but then as I started listening to it more so, and I've been listening to a lot of heavy metal lately, but um, I started listening to it more, so, a little bit more, and I actually kind of, it's kind of grown on me. I mean, it's a really good like 1970s heavy metal hard rock sort of vibe to it that's what it has and it's it's more classic that way i mean it sounds a lot of these sound like it could be you know black sabbath riffs so i mean they it could be on paranoid it's awesome you know it's <clears throat> just classic heavy metal in the making and with a little bit of polish these songs could go on a full-fledged album i mean it doesn't have to be thrash or anything i mean just because you know, Newstead was thrashed doesn't mean he has to, just because Metallica is thrashed doesn't mean that Jason Newstead has to go off and make thrash. I mean, look at Mark Tremonti. He's the lead guitarist of a radio-friendly band, but he went out of his way to make a metal album. I mean, that's fucking badass, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, I kind of like where it's going because if you're an avid Metallica fan, such as myself, you would have seen all the concerts, you know, Monsters of Rock, Live in Seattle, and, uh, of course, their S&M record, and you would have heard Jason Newstead's amazing vocals. I mean, honestly, it sounds, he sounds like he could be, like, he sounds a little bit like Lemmy Kilmeister from Motorhead, to be honest, you know, Ace of Spades, that guy. So, it's not a surprise that he finally, finally releases his own stuff with his own singing on it. I mean... It was kind of the same reaction when Tremonti, when Mark Tremonti released, you know, under Tremonti. They're kind of doing the same thing. I mean, I'm really glad for it. So, you know, hopefully um, Newstead now releases a whole album. I do like this, uh, this sample EP. You know, they're releasing their songs as they finish them. And I really like that sort of style, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, to move on. The first song on this EP is called Soldier Head, and I gotta say, really fierce opener, furious, ferocious, awesome, it's it's bluesy, it's got that heavy metal riff in it, that uh, 70s, and I don't know, it, it kind of sounds a lot like Motorhead, I don't know, like, if you listen to the beginning riff, it sounds like Ace of Spades a lot, I mean, not getting too much into it, like, um, like a ripoff or anything. But it sounds like they're paying homage a little bit. And it just, it's a really good song, really good track. Kind of gets a little repetitive towards the mid part, towards the end, a little bit. But it is a really good track. To move on, God Snake. This is actually my least favorite track on the album. I believe it's the most downbeat, it's the slowest. I didn't really like the production on this one, no matter how hard I tried. I mean, it still has that overall feel to it, but it still feels like it needs to be just, you know, smoothed out a little bit, smoothed out. It, it's too rough. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. And while the overall production and the overall feel of this album is designed to be rough, for this certain song, it kind of works against that. So, to move on, and I, I said that again, um, number three, the song, the third song on this, and this is odd. This is my favorite song, actually, "King of the Underdogs." It's not the fastest song, as um, "Soldier Head" would probably be the fastest song, but um, it's the catchiest, and it has a like a eerie bluesy solo in it. 
and combined with the backing vocals with the backing vocalist and the I believe it's the lead guitarist um I don't know it just it sounds like a bluesy Metallica it's like this is what load should have sound like sounded like you know and that holds true for skyscraper as well the next song so skyscraper kind of sounds like I don't know it just it really reminds me of two by four off of load but uh, obviously more melodic and you know heavier and you know metal you know what Metallica should have been you know back in those days so and by saying by comparing it to 2x4 I was not saying that it's a bad song in any way because most Metallica fans most metal fans in general despise Metallica for releasing these albums um, Load, Reload, Saint Anger, The Dreaded Four, The Big Four, The Big Four Knows, you know, Load, Reload, Saint Anger, and Lulu. So, that is the Big Four of Knows. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, they're really good songs, and Three and Four, King, King of the Underdogs, and Skyscraper, these are my favorite tracks on the out, on the EP, the whole thing. So, and, you know, with their bluesy riffs, and, uh, King of the Underdogs has its solo in there. So, I don't know. There's not really much to say about this this because it's only four songs. I'm really looking forward to the album though. So, I'll be reviewing that when whenever it comes out, be it next year or wherever, whenever. So, stay tuned. I guess um this is it's a really good start for the band for the solo project, for the project. And I really hope to see more of it. I'm going to rate this one probably 8.5 out of 10. So, see you guys later. I am Midnight Strike 3625 Subscribe and comment below.